Mouse Academy. Today is Wednesday, April 15, 2020. There are no birthdays to celebrate today, so let's go right into En La Cash. Tu eres mi otro yo. You are my other me. Si te hago daño a ti, if I do harm to you, me hago daño a mí mismo. I do harm to myself. Si te amo y respeto, if I love and respect you, me amo y respeto yo. I love and respect myself. We're going to continue to read Frida and her animalitos by Monica Brown and illustrated by John Parra. This is day three of the book, so if you missed Monday and Tuesday, you might want to go back and watch those read-alouds first and then listen to this one. Frida had an eagle named Gertrudis. Like her eagle, Frida's imagination could fly high. When Frida was 18, she was in a terrible accident and once again she had to be in a bed for many months. This time, Frida didn't create a magic friend, she created art. Frida's mother made her a special easel and hung a mirror over her canopy bed so Frida could paint. Frida used her imagination and curious eyes to do just that. Feet, what do I need you for when I have wings to fly? Frida tenía un águila llamada Gertrudis. Como su águila, la imaginación de Frida podía volar alto. A los 18 años, Frida tuvo un terrible accidente y otra vez tuvo que quedarse en cama por muchos meses. Esta vez, Frida no creyó una amiga imaginaria, creó arte. Su madre le creó un caballete especial y colgó un espejo en el toldo de su cama para que Frida pudiera pintar. Frida usó su imaginación imaginación y la curiosidad de sus ojos para hacer eso justamente. Pies, ¿para qué os necesito cuando tengo alas para volar? And if those weren't enough pets, Frida had two turkeys and three dogs. Señor Xolotl, Señorita Capulina, and Señora Costi. Frida's turkeys were intelligent and sensitive, just like herself. And like Frida, her dogs were warm and loving. When she was lonely or sad, she could wrap her arms around them and they would comfort her. Her Xolo dogs were the same breed that ran and hunted with the Aztecs thousands of years ago, and a reflection of Frida's heritage, of which she was very proud. Frida's dogs had no hair, but their bodies were warm and Frida gave them great big hugs whenever she felt lonely or sad. Y por si no eran bastantes mascotas, Frida tenía dos pavos y tres perros, señor Xolotl, señorita Capulina y señora Costi. Los pavos de Frida eran inteligentes y sensibles como ella, y como Frida, sus perros eran cálidos y amorosos. Cuando se sentía sola o triste, los rodeaba con sus brazos y ellos le daban bienestar. Sus perros solos eran de la misma raza que corrían y cazaban con los aztecas cientos de años antes y un reflejo de la herencia cultural de Frida, de la que se sentía muy orgullosa. Los perros de Frida no tenían pelo, pero tenían un cuerpo cálido y Frida les daba unos brazos bien grandes cada vez que se sentía sola o triste. Frida's animalitos were spirited and entertaining, like Frida. When her two spider monkeys were being good, Frida would hold them like babies. When they were being mischievous, they would steal socks and fruit and leap through windows so no one could catch them. Her parrot, named Bonito, liked to snuggle under the covers while Frida took naps and would do tricks at the dinner table for pats of butter. Los animalitos de Frida eran juguetones y entretenidos, igual que Frida. Cuando sus dos changos araña se portaban bien, Frida los ponía en sus brazos como niños. Cuando eran traviesos, le robaban las medidas y la fruta y saltaban por las ventanas para que nadie pudiera agarrarlos. A su loro, de nombre bonito, le gustaba acurrucarse bajo las mantas mientras Frida tomaba la siesta y hacía trucos en la mesa para que le dieran un poco de mantequilla. Thank you for joining us today for the read aloud. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!